So now that we understand how to group our fields, we grouped the dates up here in our column labels and we grouped uh, our associate names, so that was more of a, a grouping by category over here and by team. As we were doing that, we saw that it created some subtotals and grand totals. And depending on what you're doing with the report and with the pivot table, you may or may not want those grand totals or subtotals to show. Uh, it's very easy to customize though. We can turn them on and off very quickly using an Excel pivot table. So to do that, I just need to come up to the field that I want to change. So in this case, uh, maybe I don't want uh, quarters to show subtotals anymore. So I'm going to click on quarter and I can either come up here, I've got my options tab, it's one of my contextual tabs again since I have the pivot table active and I can click on field settings and when I click on field settings you can see it says none right now and that's why quarters does not show any subtotal it's just showing my totals by uh, month currently if I switch that to automatic and click OK now you can see all of a sudden I have quarter subtotals that could be meaningful depending on what you're trying to do to look at it. If I wanted to change the way my uh, team subtotals show, maybe I don't really care about uh, these team subtotals. I'm going to click on team because that's the field that I want to work with. And I could come up to field settings or instead I'm just going to right click and I can choose field settings from the shortcut menu. It's the same dialog box. I pull that up. Currently it's set to automatic. That's why it's showing. And if I say none, OK, and now those subtotals are gone. So that's really nice. We can change that. Just remember when you're changing the uh, subtotals, we have to select the field that I'm working with, the field that I want to change. So if it was months, I'd have to select there. If it was quarters, I have to select the quarter field, one of them at least, in order for Excel to recognize which one I'm working with. Additionally, if I want to change all the subtotals for the whole pivot table, can do that using the design tab. So I come up here to my pivot table contextual tabs and I click on design. And over on the far left you've got the subtotals button. Yours may look different depending on the size of your screen. I click that drop down and it gives me three shortcut options. Do not show subtotals. Show all of them at the top or bottom. So I'm going to say do not show subtotals and just that quickly all of my subtotals are gone. If I click on show them at the bottom of the group, it shows all subtotals for all of my fields and it puts them at the bottom. So it's just a quick and easy way to do it. If uh, you don't want to do it one by one, you can do it that way. Uh, the same thing works for grand totals. So if I want to change grand totals, I can just come right here and I've got very similar options. I can turn it off for both rows and columns or on for both rows and columns or I can do it for one or the other. So in this case, I'm going to do it off for both now I no longer have grand totals and maybe instead I just want it to be for columns so I'm going to say on for columns only and now I just have grand totals underneath the months and the quarters but I don't have it per associate so it just depends on what you're trying to do how clean you want things to look or maybe you want more detail on the screen uh, when you're looking at it or presenting it to someone else uh, but just as a reminder if I want to change one individual field uh, instead of the entire thing, I don't use the design tab. So the design tab is to change the whole table. If I just want to do it by a specific field, I highlight that field, one of those, either team A or team B, and uh, I right click and go to field settings, and now I can change that. So another thing you can play around with, we won't cover it in this video because it's getting a little more advanced, is beyond automatic, you probably notice there's a custom button and that allows me to do different types of subtotals. So right now it's doing uh, the same type of subtotal as the rest of the data. So the rest of the data is using the sum function, so it's adding up all everything, and that's what my subtotal is doing. If instead I wanted it to be the average, I could click on average and say OK, and now it gives me an average. So uh, that can be useful, and you can see later how we, we would format that to make it look nicer, uh, but you are able to customize subtotals as well. For now, though, I'm going to go ahead and turn all those off so it just looks nice and clean. And in the next video, we'll look at how we can organize uh, our pivot table automatically using some of these features in the design tab.